Imagine there are some structures in the universe whose light takes billions of years to reach us. For the first time, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured what we feared and hoped to see. The moment a star begins to tear itself apart. Betelgeuse, the giant on Orion's shoulder, has entered its final act. For generations, its strange dimming and swelling carried whispers of an ending, yet no one knew when. Mystery is dark energy. That's the name just kind of plastered on this phenomenon. Webb's unblinking eye has revealed the first signs of collapse, a light breaking under its own weight. The universe is vast, and for that, we need a bigger model that can capture the depths of that infinity and give us a clearer understanding of the universe's hidden architecture. This is not just an observation of deep space. It is the closest supernova humanity has ever witnessed, and perhaps the most important. The star we've always watched. For thousands of years, human eyes have been drawn to Betelgeuse. High in the constellation of Orion, it marks the hunter's shoulder, glowing with a steady red light that has inspired myth, guided travel, and filled stories across cultures. To the naked eye, it seems constant, a bright jewel that always returns with the seasons. Yet beneath that calm glow lies something immense and unstable. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, one of the largest stars ever observed. Compared to our sun, it is staggering, over 700 times wider and nearly 20 times heavier. If placed at the center of our solar system, its outer layers would stretch beyond Jupiter, swallowing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars with ease. But such a size comes with a cost. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Unlike small stars, which burn steadily for billions of years, giants like Betelgeuse live fast and die young. Their fuel is consumed quickly, and the balance between gravity and pressure begins to falter. That struggle is visible from Earth. The star swells and contracts, brightens and dims, as if gasping for breath. In 2019, Betelgeuse dimmed so dramatically that people around the world thought its final moment had arrived. Telescopes turned toward Orion, waiting for a cosmic explosion. Yet the star endured, leaving behind only questions. Each flicker and flare since then has carried the same mystery. How much longer can a giant hold on before it finally breaks? Webb's unblinking eye. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to see what no other instrument could. Using its powerful infrared vision, it looks through dust and gas into the hidden layers of stars. When astronomers turned Webb toward Betelgeuse, they were not sure what they would find. But the images and data revealed more than anyone expected. Beneath the glowing surface, massive convective bubbles rose and burst, each one larger than planets in our solar system. Hot plumes of gas streamed outward into space at speeds beyond imagination. And deeper inside, shock waves moved through the outer layers like invisible ripples in water. These were not random motions. They were the signs of a star losing its balance, struggling to hold itself together. Webb captured details that had only been imagined in computer models. For the first time, scientists were not guessing. They were watching the earliest moments of a supernova unfold step by step in real time. The moment of explosion. Betelgeuse began to release energy on a scale that defied imagination. The surface fractured with violent bursts, and the star's light shifted in patterns never seen before. Webb traced the eruption as it spread outward, showing layers of gas and plasma breaking apart. This was not theory anymore. It was the anatomy of a supernova revealed frame by frame. Unlike the countless explosions observed in distant galaxies, this one is near enough to touch us differently. Only 642 light years away, its death cry will one day shine brighter than the full moon. It may even be seen under the midday sky. But the brilliance is more than a spectacle. Within that fire, heavy elements are born. Carbon, oxygen, and iron. The same materials that shape planets and life itself. 
Watching Beetlejuice collapse is like watching the recipe of creation being written again. A reminder that endings carry within them the seeds of beginnings. Unlocking the Universe What makes this moment so powerful is not only the beauty of the site, but what it teaches us. For the first time, scientists can map the final stages of a star with precision. Webb's instruments allow them to study how heat, pressure, and gravity fight against each other until balance is lost. Every reading becomes a clue about how stars live and die. From this data, models of stellar collapse are being rewritten, no longer based on assumptions, but on direct evidence. Even more, by studying the warning signs, the sudden dimming, the violent pulses, astronomers may learn how to predict future supernovae. Imagine knowing which stars are nearing their last breath, centuries before they explode. This is more than discovery. It feels like a revelation, a window into the hidden rules that guide creation and destruction across the cosmos. Through Betelgeuse, we are not only watching an ending, we are beginning to understand the cycle that shapes galaxies and worlds. Shockwaves across space. The death of Betelgeuse is not confined to the star itself. Webb's readings show the blast already sending ripples into the surrounding space. Waves of high-energy particles push outward, striking gas clouds that drift nearby. Dust grains heat up and shift, reshaping the halo that has long circled the star. The explosion becomes more than a single event. It is a disturbance felt across light years. And hidden within those signals may be something even more profound. Astronomers suspect that the collapse of Betelgeuse's core released gravitational waves, tiny shifts in the very fabric of space-time. This explosion is not just an explosion of light or particles. It seems we are sensing a movement in time-space itself. If proven, this would be the first time a visible supernova is tied to such waves directly. It would unite what we see with what we feel through space itself. The shock from Betelgeuse is not only light and matter, it may be the pulse of gravity itself, a silent echo spreading through the universe. What remains after death? When a star like Betelgeuse collapses, the question always follows, what is left behind? This is no ordinary death. Look how the magnetic fields are twisting, pulling, pushing, as if they are hesitating to decide their own fate. Some red supergiants become neutron stars objects so dense that a teaspoon of their matter weighs more than mountains. Others fall deeper, crushed into black holes where even light cannot escape. With Betelgeuse, the answer is not yet clear. Webb's data shows uneven collapse, with magnetic fields twisting and pulling matter in strange directions. Some material seems to escape, while other streams fall back inward, as though the star cannot decide its fate. This uneven process has led scientists to wonder if something new might emerge, a kind of object between a neutron star and a black hole, imagined in theory but never seen. If Betelgeuse is giving birth to such a remnant, it would mark the first direct evidence of a new cosmic form. Its death may not simply close a chapter, it may open one we never expected. Are we safe? Whenever a nearby star dies, the same question arises. What about Earth? The short answer is that Betelgeuse is too far away to harm us. At more than 600 light years, the deadly core of the blast cannot touch our world. But that does not mean the event is without effect. As the shock front expands, it carries radiation, particles, and magnetic energy into the neighborhood of our galaxy. These waves will interact with clouds of dust, bend streams of gas, and perhaps alter the way light from distant stars reaches us. Our planet will not burn or freeze, but our view of the universe may never look quite the same. In watching Betelgeuse explode, we are not only seeing a star's end, we are also witnessing how one death reshapes the stage on which countless other stars perform their lives. A mirror to us. The fall of Betelgeuse is more than an astronomical event. It feels like a mirror, reflecting truths we often avoid. Stars seem eternal when we look up, 
Yet even the brightest must eventually fade. Their lives end in fire, but from that fire, something new always begins. The heavy elements created in these explosions drift outward, mixing with gas and dust, until new stars are born. Around those newborn stars, planets may gather, and on some of those worlds, life may one day rise. In this way, death in the cosmos is never only an end. It is renewal, written in the language of light and matter. Watching Betelgeuse reminds us of our own place in this cycle. We too are made of remnants from stars that exploded long before Earth existed. The collapse of this giant is not just distant science. It is a story of us, written in the night sky. Rare elements, rare answers. Among the most surprising discoveries from Webb's data are the fingerprints of rare elements carried in the blast. Scientists expected carbon, oxygen, and iron, common products of stellar death. But hidden in the light were traces of stranger materials like technetium and yttrium, substances formed only in the most extreme environments. These elements are short-lived, unstable, and nearly impossible to find in ordinary conditions. Their presence tells a deeper story. By studying their ratios, researchers can trace the journey of matter across time, from the heart of dying stars to the dust that becomes planets, oceans, and living cells. In a sense, Betelgeuse is writing down its history as it falls apart, revealing the recipe of existence itself. Each fragment it releases carries clues about how galaxies build themselves and how life becomes possible. The star's destruction is not silent. It is language, carried in elements, teaching us who we are and where we come from. Betelgeuse is gone, yet its light will echo for centuries. Orion's shoulder will change, and in its place, an expanding cloud will glow across the night. But its death is not a loss, it is a gift. From its collapse come new elements, new knowledge, new beginnings. Our own sun will one day face the same fate, and in that truth lies both fear and wonder. What Webb has shown us is not just the death of a star, it is the cycle of creation itself, and the reminder that even endings carry the seeds of life.